Hello friends, this video on ratio and proportion part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. One more example here. So here we have three kids. Let's name them as A, B, C so that it becomes easy to refer. So this is A, this is B and this is C. Now all of them are hungry and they are all given a pizza, one complete pizza to each of them. Now, now based on their hunger and appetite, each, one, each of them ate eight different quantities of pizza. Now the pizza that was given to each one of them was divided into five equal slices and it was found that A ate one slice out of those five slices. So basically how much did A eat? A ate one fifth of the pizza. Perfect. What about B? B ate three slices out of those five slices. So he ate three fifths of the pizza. And finally C, he ate four slices out of the five slices. So he ate four fifths of the pizza. So this is what they ate. Now again here 1 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, these are all fractions because they tell you how much part of the complete pizza was eaten by each of them. Now if we try to compare the amount of pizza eaten by A, B and C. So in that case you will actually start comparing these fractions. So looking at these fractions you see that 1 by 5 is less than 3 by 5 and 3 by 5 is less than 4 by 5. So we can say that A let A ate the least and C ate the most. So very quickly you can see that C ate maximum and then D, then B and then A. So A ate minimum number of pizza slices. Now if we want to compare how much did one person eat with respect to the other person. For example, if we want to find out that how much did B eat when compared to A. So obviously we know that B ate more than A. That's because 3 by 5 is greater than 1 by 5. But by how much, how many times of A did B eat? So basically we want to find out the ratio of what B ate to what A ate. So that means the amount of pizza eaten by B divided by the amount of pizza eaten by A. What would be that? That would be 3 by 5 eaten by B divided by 1 by 5. So this is equal to 3 by 1 or we can say it 3 is to 1 and this is nothing but ratio. So ratio is all about comparison of two quantities uh, by division whenever we are comparing by division like here. So in this case we can say that the B ate 3 times what A ate. Similarly what about comparison between C and A? C and A. This is C and this is A. So here also you would do the same thing. Num it's a number of slices eaten by C is 4 by 5. A is 1 by 5. So this is 4 is to 1. So that means C ate 4 times of what was eaten by A. So here again we are comparing two different quantities but with respect to each other. Like how much did B eat with respect to A or how much did C eat with respect to A. So this kind of comparison is what that is, is what that comes under ratio. So here we see that there are two different ways of comparing quantities. One is comparison by difference and the other one is comparison by division. So let us look at this example. So this is a mother-daughter duo and let's say that the mother's height. So this is the mom and this is the kid. So let's say that the mom's height is 156 centimeters and the daughter's height is 78 centimeters. So these are their heights. Now if we have to compare the height of the mom with respect to that of the daughter. So how would we make that comparison? So one way of comparing. So option one is comparison by difference. That is by finding the difference between their heights. So what, what would be the difference between their heights? 156 centimeter minus 78 centimeters. That is 78 centimeters. So one option is you can say that uh, the mom's height is 78 centimeters more than the kid's height because this is the difference. So that means the mother's height is greater than the kid's height by 78 centimeters. So that is one way of comparing their heights. The second option is 
you find out the ratio and for the ratio what you do you divide so you divide the mother's height by the daughter's height and then what do you see 78 into 2 is 156 so this is 2 by 1 or this can be written as 2 is to 1 so this shows that the mother's height so this 2 represents the height of the mother and 1 represents that of the kid so this shows that the mother's height is twice as that of the kid's height which actually means that if you place two kids one on top of other like this so if you place two kids one on top of other you would get the height of the mother and this is what we understand this is how we compare by division so in case of division we do not find the actual difference because the actual difference will keep changing with the changing values like right now it is 156 sometime else it would be something else similarly now it is 78 sometimes else it would be something else so we cannot always rely upon the difference for comparison so in many scenarios comparison is better by division like in this case if you see that the mother's height is twice as that of the daughter's height in that case even if you do not know the daughter's height but you can get an idea in the comparison of heights between the mother and the daughter so you will just know that okay whatever is the daughter you just need to imagine that if there are two daughters placed one above another that would be the mother's height so the second approach is better in the sense that just by looking at the daughter you can guess the mom's height as well thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you